Hey, and welcome back to another episode of This Guy's Thoughts. So like always, I appreciate you swinging by and watching a review. Uh, tonight, we're going to take a look at another uh, in-state Ohio uh, craft brewery. This here is Hoof Hearted Brewing. Right there. They are out of Marengo, Ohio. I believe is how you pronounce it. Marengo. Uh, I have no idea where that is. I didn't look it up either. Um, but uh, I'd never heard of these guys. Seen this here. The artwork looked very intriguing. Um, it says four and a half percent alcohol by volume, and it is a fruited sour ale with blueberry and lemon puree added right there. So, see how they spell the fruit? So, now look, I'm going to leave this to your imagination. Whatever you think they're trying to, um you know, present there in that artwork. So, anyhow, I don't know if that's uh, a lemon. I'm assuming that's a lemon. And we got, man, I don't know if it's peach, mango, guava. I'm not sure what what the other, these fruits are supposed to be on here. But I do know it says uh, with blueberry and lemon uh, puree added. So, uh, none of these really look like a blueberry to me. But uh, they're all wearing, like, uh, uh, pink panties or something. I mean, man, that is some crazy, crazy stuff. You can, uh, you know, make your own determination on this middle character there. Hey, but as far as the artwork, I'm going to give it 5 out of 5 for the artwork. Whatever it is, kind of funny. Uh, anyhow, this says uh, serve at 46 degrees. Um, it's close to that. I just took it out of the refrigerator crack this open and uh, see what it's all about. I did pay $3.99 for this. Now, puree, sour L should be right, right in my ballpark. So let's uh, get a pour on this. Oh, that's a nice, uh, nice color to that. Yeah, very nice looking color. Elevate that up a little bit so you can see the artwork there. So we got a, a slightly uh, light pink head, about not quite two fingers on there. Lots of large bubbles popping in there, as well as a bunch of little ones. It looks like it's wearing away fairly quick. Just a nice uh, reddish color to this. We'll fire up the old light here. There you go. Right there. That's about what it looks like to me, what you guys, right there, okay? Just a nice color on this one. As far as aroma. So, I kind of get a, a, a guava passion fruit uh, nose coming off of this. There is some lemon there. Don't really pick up any blueberries here in the nose. Yeah, almost more of a, a guava y passion fruit uh, type of nose coming off of this. Hey, anyhow, let's get a drink on this, see what it's, got, uh, see what it's all about. So, nice tart sourness to this. Uh, nothing crazy. It does say um, fruited sour. So what fruit do we pick up here? Let's get another drink on this. So I definitely get that guava passion fruit in there. Uh, there's a dark berry uh, to this. Uh, that would be the blueberry, I'm assuming, coming through. A little bit of a lemon. The lemon is there. It does, for 4.5%, is that what I said it was? 4.5% ABV. I don't know what the IBU is. Uh, if, I'm, if I find it, it'll be down there somewhere below. Um... It doesn't drink as thin as I, so I thought it'd be pretty thin, four and a half percent. 
um, sour ale. Uh, then the puree, I was like, oh, puree, that might add a little substance to it. Uh, so it's heavier side, fuller side of a thinner body. I would say approaching a medium body type of mouthfeel. Uh, so right up front, that tart, it's kind of a, a juicy combination. The more I'm drinking of it, the more I'm picking up that lemon. A little bit of a lemony berry guava passion fruit uh, right in the front calms down a little bit but mostly the passion fruit i, I get this passion fruit guava ness that kind of flows on through uh, the mouth bill back end of it just a nice uh i'm gonna say it's more of a tartness than a sour and it's not crazy sour or crazy tart um but it's there on the back end. Um, the more I drink of this, um, the more I pick that up in the taste, the back end of the taste there. Actually, that first drink I took, I wasn't a huge fan of it. The more I drink of this, the more I'm picking up on some other, you know, get more of the lemon, get more of the, the dark berry uh, coming through in this. Um, so the more I'm drinking of it, actually, the more I, I kind of like it. And sometimes I do that. I score. I score it here. Then I go off, the, you know, and turn the camera off, finish drinking. I'm like, man, I think I might have been a little too hard on this. Um, so this one here. I'm going to try to be a little bit more open-minded on scoring this. I honestly think four out of five. Good with a uh, four out of five on this. Um... I like the Hoof Hearted Brewing. Um, I never heard of these guys. Uh, like I said, um, Marengo, Ohio, I guess that's how you how you say that. Um, excuse me. So, hey, whatever it is, I'm not sure what they got going on, what the, this artwork is all supposed to mean or anything. I guess it's open to your in, the interpretation of your imagination on that. Uh, anyhow, like, subscribe, comment, check me out on social media, hit that notification bell.